Is it true that Allah lets astray whomever he wishes? The answer is, of course. This is totally true, and it is in black and white in the Quran. It's mentioned in the Sunnah in numerous places. Whomever Allah guides is the guided one. And whoever Allah misguides, no one will guide or be an ally to. So this is part of Allah being the Lord of this universe. Everything in this universe belongs to who? Allah. Who's the creator? Allah. Who provides for every creature and living being? in this universe, Allah. Who facilitates the affairs, Allah. Who gives life and death, Allah. So who dares question Allah Azza wa Jal for what he does? Yes, Sheikh, but how is it possible that Allah misguides people? Does Allah own us? Yes, if he throws us in hell, can anybody complain or object? No. If I take a hundred dollar bill and burn it, can anybody say, whoa, stop, don't do that? No, it's mine. So Allah has the highest example. But you don't mix apples with oranges. Before you jump to conclusions, ask yourself the following questions. Does Allah own everything in this universe? The answer is yes. Is Allah knowledgeable? The answer is yes. Is Allah wise? The answer is yes. Is Allah fair and just and never transgresses against anyone? The answer is definitely yes. If you have this given and if you have your conviction set on this, then you know that when Allah sets someone astray, that Allah Azza wa Jal did not do anything wrong or unfair or unjust because Allah is acting within his dominion and Allah Azza wa Jal is acting within his wisdom and knowledge and fairness and justice so this is your mistake and this is your own wrongdoing if you want to be guided this is the way welcome our hands are open you're the one who doesn't want to so who are you to blame? Allah mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse number 22, that Satan, when the people of hell come and complain, start blaming him, it's because of you that we are in hellfire for eternity. He stands up and give an oration, gives a speech. Allah, he says, it's in the Quran, check it out, 14, 22. Allah promised you and fulfilled his promise. I promised you and betrayed you. I had no power over you except to call you and you responded and answered. So don't blame me, rather blame yourselves. I'm not going to benefit you and you're not going to benefit me. This is what's what will happen. So it's your own shortcoming and mistake. 